Today, I was in the drive through line at Starbucks trying to get the Donald Trump drink, which is just a cup that's full of sad old man tears. But as I pulled up, I was feeling generous, and I told the barista, can I pay for the order in front of me? And the Starbucks employee said, that's so sweet. Let me bring that up for you. Would you like anything else? So I said, uh, can I get a cake pop and a white hot chocolate? But that's when the barista said, that comes up to $94.24. I stopped and said, what in the star f did you say? And the barista told me they ordered seven drinks, four pastries, and a travel mug. So I told the barista, hey, um, I'm actually just getting at the cake pop. But the person ahead of me had already driven away and they told me I had to pay or the cops would be called. So I pulled up and paid, but I wasn't gonna stop until I got my travel mug. I followed the car until it parked and I approached the window and I said, give me the mug. Anyways, look at my $94 Starbucks travel mug that I had to pry out of a soccer mom's hands. Since it's now 2021, that means that the Global Panda Express is officially over. Oh, wait, I was just kidding. I meant the Global Pandemic is officially over. Now you might be thinking, how is that possible? Well, two weeks ago, I cured coronavirus by filling a bottle rocket with hand sanitizer, and I sent it into the atmosphere. And for the past two weeks, the hand sanitizer has been spraying into the air, and people all around the world have been breathing in my vaccine air. Now, to test my theory, I decided today to see if I can find any pesky COVID germs lying around. So, I went to the gas station and I licked the debit keypad and then I licked my fingers after typing in my pin which is one two three four and then after that I went to Panda Express and I enjoyed some yummy shrimp but when I was driving home I felt the COVID-21 germs from licking the gas station keypad bubbling in my stomach and I went home and I fell to my bed and I started coughing when all of a sudden I coughed up a piece of Lego but I kept coughing and eventually I had enough Lego pieces in a little Lego house so maybe COVID-21 isn't that bad hi here's your food thanks dude um you didn't tip oh uh, I only have two dollars oh you know what I I have your address. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um. Yeah, I can literally like take you out. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, does your family live here? Uh, yeah. Uh, why? Oh, sweet. Uh, my uncle actually eats families. <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> what? Uh, what kind of sauce do you want? Oh, I didn't order any sauce. <laughs> okay. Well, will barbecue work when my uncle eats your family? <laughs> Oh, dude, I think you have a gas leak in your house. Wait, like, for real? Yeah, can I go check it out for you? Oh, right, yeah, for sure, come on in. Okay, sick. Okay, so, uh, the kitchen's right here if you want to check it there. Hmm. Well, like, are you able to find it? Oh, I know exactly where it is. <coughs> hey, I ordered vegan taquitos. Is there cheese in this? Why, yes, there is. <laughs> um, I'm lactose intolerant. And you're the gas leak. <laughs> I was at Staples, because I needed some staples so I could staple a staple into my staple box so staples wouldn't fall out anymore. But staples was sold out of all the staples, and I asked a staples employee named April if they had any more staples, and she said that I could order some more staples from Naples. But this staples had no staples, so I was gonna leave with no staples, but my phone was dying, so I needed a cable. So I walked past April and went to the cables, but the cables were too much, so I just bought a bagel. And now I'm at home at my table with my bagels, and no staples or cables, because April from staples wanted me to choke, and as I bit my bagel, it had mold, and the bagel was fatal, and I fell off the table, and my last thoughts were of my lover named Mabel when we would sit by the stables and pour maple all over our bagels. And as I took my last breath on the floor, I saw a staple. I don't usually do this, but I'm about to drag some children on the internet, okay? So three months ago, I was walking my dog home when I heard my name get called behind me. And when I got home, I was ding-dong ditched by these children, okay? Now, usually I'd be like, a ding-dong ditch, whatever. Except this happened 10 more times! And these human dung beetles aren't like you guys. Like, you guys actually watch my videos. Look at this. <laughs> That is them literally trying to figure out what my name is. And in a moment of frustration, I put this on my story. To the rodent children that keep ringing my doorbell asking if Ben of the Week lives here, can y'all go play Fortnite or something? <laughs> and then their mom DM'd me. To those rodent children will not be ringing your doorbell anymore. Please delete their pictures as of... I took it one step further. For musty rodent children at home watching my story on their leapfrog tablet. <laughs> Anyways, please respect my privacy or I will call you a rodent online and get your Xbox taken away. <laughs> I'm a Canadian and this is my Canadian passport and this is my Canadian passport picture. Uh, and for some reason, I'm in the freaking United States during the season finale of America. Because I'm stupid and I just really wanted some good American fast food. Anyways, I was trying to escape before it becomes the newest Purge movie. So I packed up my JoJo Siwa poster and my Rainy Rodriguez shrine and my favorite toilet seat. And I left my room for the very last time and walked over to the bus station to go back to Canada. And as I was sitting on that bus, I remembered I forgot my 
my passport on my desk while filming this TikTok. So I freaked out and I got off the bus and I ran back to my place faster than Zoe Laverne is running from the federal authorities. And once I grabbed it, I then called an Uber back to Canada and it was $4,000. But I booked it since I missed the bus. Anyways, the Uber arrived. So I went downstairs and I got in and the guy was chill until he turned to me and said, is it just you? And I said, why? And he said, I ain't never seen two pretty best no! friends. Hey, guess what? Today is Miss Corona's first birthday. On November 17th, 2019, the very first dude went, <coughs> and now 55 million people have gone, <coughs> and everything sucks now. Anyways, I was throwing a little party for COVID because I feel like no one else appreciates her. So I invited her over by going to the local COVID testing location, sneaking into the employees only area and licking all of the testing swabs. But when I left an employee yelled at me, <coughs> anyways, when I got home, all of a sudden I felt a little ill and boom, she was at the party. I had bought some Taco Bell for the party, ordered a thousand dollars worth of slime to play with, and just when Miss Corona thought she was about to open her birthday present, she realized the present was hand sanitizer and I grabbed the virus in a chokehold and poured the sanitizer all over the coronavirus oh, and beat shit. it with a mask for canceling everything that I was looking forward to and worse. <laughs> Anyways, once again, please wear a mask, not just because of Corona, but also because some of y'all have musty, dusty breath. Thanks. I haven't been posting on TikTok because I got a stalker that's been DMing me saying he's going to come to my house and that he knows my address. And I didn't know what to do, so I packed my bags and I ran away to Florida to try and hide. When I finally got there, I went to the pool to relax when I saw someone staring at me from a distance covered in, like, smoke or something. I was kind of scared, but I followed them out of the pool. And I barely got out because I have no upper body strength. Ugh. Anyways, I followed his footsteps to the beach and they led me to this fenced-off area, but I went in anyways and I followed the trail of smoke coming from him, which brought me to this weird abandoned building which had a really strong smell of like skunk or something coming from it. I was still curious, so I stuck inside and it was completely dark. So I turned on my flash and there was Jacob Sartorius! I screamed out, what do you want from me? And that's when he asked if I wanted to do some lettuce with him. And you know what I said? Yes! And we made a delicious salad together. Just me and Jacob Sartorius, two dudes tossing salad in the kitchen. Today was my first day working at Starbucks and I was making a garbage water frappuccino until I realized this isn't a Starbucks, everything is fake. I'm in a fake Starbucks in Ikea. I ran as fast as I could to escape the fake Starbucks and when I finally when they got out, I realized I still don't have a job. How am I gonna get enough money to buy a Shrek cardboard cutout? So I made a resume, even though I have zero qualifications. I got in my car and drove to the haircut store, but they wouldn't hire me because they saw me give myself a bad quarantine haircut. So then I drove over to the grocery store and then I was looking for the manager until some dude coughed in my face. I wiped the diseases off my face and then ran to my car to apply hand sanitizer. But I didn't realize I had a cut on my finger. It burned so bad that I passed out, but I was still driving my car and it rolled off by itself. When I woke up, I had no clue where I was and my car was out of gas. I got out and realized I was in the middle of nowhere, but then I remembered I can just check my GPS and ah, how did I end up in North Korea? <laughs> oh my god, it's closed. Uh, hey Siri, call Wendy's. Killing Wendy. No, 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 no. Um, I said cancel. Would you like to cancel? Yes, yes. Canceling your passport and birth certificate. What? No! How did you even have permission to do that? Permission to leak your feed pics? My feed? What? Sending feed pics to everyone in your contacts. <laughs> How are you even doing this? This is illegal. Something illegal is happening? Alerting the FBI. Yeah, something illegal is happening. You just blew up that Wendy's. Okay, should I send this to the FBI? I just blew up a Wendy's. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Did you say absolutely? Message send. No! Would you like to use your pics from the mugshot trend for when you go to prison? No! no! Kidnap Queen Elizabeth? No, not Queen Elizabeth! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what was that? What what are you doing? Oh, uh, I don't know. I just thought it'd be kind of cool, I guess. Um, yeah, uh, don't do that. That's really freaking weird. I, I'm sorry. I, I just thought, like... I don't know why, like, out of all things you could do, you do that. Like, what is that? Okay, I just I just wanted to show I liked it. Okay. What? By hitting yourself? This is the stupidest thing ever. Okay, I'm sorry. Next time, I'll just throw my poop like usual when I'm excited. Wait, hold on one second. All right, peace. Uh, that was my wife. <laughs> and she was wondering if you wanted to eat some dinosaur tonight? Oh, where? All right, let's go. <laughs> I was sucking grapes into my mouth as a snack when I realized these grapes haven't been washed yet. And you know what's on unwashed grapes? Chemicals and bugs. You know what gives Spider-Man his powers? A bug covered in chemicals. I suddenly felt nauseous and had to throw up, but I felt something. I shot a web out of my wrist and flushed the toilet. And that's when I realized I have powers. Think of all the things I can do now. I can free Joe Exotic. I can fling the girl who sings Dance Monkey into the orbit of the sun. I went to the grocery store and picked up more grapes to fuel my power. But there was an old grandpa who wasn't social distancing, so I used my web to yank his walker out of his hands. Good luck crawling within six feet of me. When I got home, I immediately inhaled the new batch of superbugs. I felt my power grow stronger. My veins were pumping blood and my heart rate was going the speed of light. But then I blacked out. I woke up from my coma three years later. The whole world was empty from the pandemic and I realized everyone I loved was gone. But then I thought, I can still shoot noodles from my wrist. I'm Spider-Man, baby.
I was seeing how many oranges I could fit in my mouth before throwing up when my doorbell rang. I wasn't expecting anyone, and when I answered it, there was no one there, just a notebook. It was kind of <laughs> creepy, but when I opened it, I realized it was for my horse school cousin Gretchen, and she'd drawn me, uh, Peppa Pig? I thought I'd draw her something back, so I made, um, two minions in love, and I left it in the same place for her. The next morning, the doorbell rang again, and I opened it to find another Peppa, so I took the liberty of drawing Rainy Rodriguez as my sleep paralysis demon, and put it back the same place as yesterday. Oh, However, the next day I received something completely different. When I opened the sketchbook, Peppa had turned into bacon? Is, is this a threat? I texted her, haha, very funny, Gretchen, stop coming to my house. And she was like, what? And so I replied, Peppa time is canceled, Gretchen. And she replied, I don't know what you're talking about. So, knowing that wasn't Gretchen the whole time, I felt completely terrified, so I watched some seafood ASMR eating and fell asleep. I woke up to my leg burning from my laptop, my hand kind of felt weird, and I noticed I was covered in bacon. Anyways, now I'm completely terrified, and I don't know what to draw in return. Please help. Ma I want a bowl of chili. Okay. Dinner is served. What is this? It's chili. <laughs> and just the salsa today. Okay, your total is 420. Will that be in your checking or savings account? My chicken account, please. Your checking account? My chicken account! <laughs> chicken account! <laughs> Myrtle, why are you walking so slow, man? You're 80! The Grim Reaper's right there. He's gonna get you. He's gonna get you. I bet your bones would just go snap, crackle, pop if I just hit the gas right now. You're finally done! Who would have thought? Not me. Myrtle, your husband has fallen and cannot get up. Hey, pal. This might come as a shock, but... Ow! Ha ha ha, funny. You shocked me with static. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. That's funny. But no, um, I came to tell you that your cat just got hit by a car. <laughs> Me and my 80-year-old neighbor, Myrtle, have been leaving each other messages through our windows to stay entertained during quarantine. That's until yesterday when she wrote a very threatening sign. I know she's an old lady, but that made my anxiety go ding, 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 ding. When I went downstairs, the door was open, like she said, and there was a box. But then my ADHD distracted me, and I started thinking, why did Marty Rich name a song The Box? Is he, like, just rapping about a box? Did he order a Snap out of it, Ben. You potentially have an elderly intruder in your house. She could, like, bite me with her dentures or something and give me corona. I took the box and screamed, leave me alone, Myrtle, and then went to go make my final sign. I placed it in my window where I knew she would see it. Here's a fun Ben fact. I'm an expert in archery, and I'm not afraid to turn her into Myrtle on a stick. I felt prepared, but all I could do now was wait around for Myrtle to make her move, but I got curious and decided to check out the box. It could have been booby-trapped, ha, <laughs> booby, for all I know, but I opened it anyways, and it turns out it was cookies. She baked me cookies. This is me buying a live crab from the store and freeing it into the ocean. The guy at the store was like, you know how to cook this, right? And I was like, oh, we are not cooking Mr. Krabs. As I was walking, some dude yelled at me and I got scared. And then this guy was walking around with an iguana. I'm like, it's my day to have an exotic pet, buddy. Look at his cute little mouth moving. Aww. I took him to the Santa Monica Pier before I freed him. And that's when I saw this guy literally kick a pigeon. I hate it here. Now, crabs can live 24 hours outside of water. But I thought, let's just free him already. Then some cops are staring at me and I got scared. I picked him up and I run to the beach. And I laid him down gently on the sand. He was barely moving. So I ran into the waves to try and get him in deeper so he could swim or something. But he took a bit of a tumble. So it wasn't looking good for Mr. Krabs. And I started crying. But then and he started moving again, and I thought, it's now or never. I scooped Mr. Krabs up, and I ran over to that water, and I dropped him in that water ever so gent- Oh, crap, we are out of time. Um, if you want to see the rest of the video, uh, the link is in my bio. So, I was busy trying to carbonate milk with my mom's soda stream and make milk soda when my friend who lives in a different city texted me, Come here now! I get really scared when people send a text and end it with a period. So, naturally, I ignored the text and laid in bed and stressed about it until 30 minutes later when they texted me again. I checked the text, and it said, It's an emergency. And I was like, Uh, emergency? It's emergency. Just, like, call 911 one or something but then i thought oh maybe they're like hamster died or something so i got up got all the way in my car turned on some harry styles but then after 20 minutes of driving i had to pull over because i was crying too hard <laughs> to feel better i switched on crazy frog what's going on on bum, 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 bum.
<laughs> Sometimes when I listen to a really good song in the car, I kind of lose track of how fast I'm going. So while I was in the middle of vibing, um, I saw flashing lights behind me. But then I remembered getting arrested is a choice, and today I choose not to be arrested. <laughs> so it turns out that's actually not my choice, but I can get these really cool mugshot pictures out of it. You should totally go check them out on my Instagram. It's at Ben of the Week. And comment crazy frog if you came from this TikTok. Okay, love you. Bye. So I had just finished filling out all my private information and passwords to claim my free MacBook Pro that I won from this one email I got until I heard a knock at my door. I was feeling a little bit scared because it was 3 a.m., but I remembered I gave them my social security number, so that means they are gonna keep me safe. I was gonna go turn my computer off and head upstairs to check the door, but it said that a virus was shutting it down for me. Now, I don't want the coronavirus, but if it's gonna start doing things for me, well then, homegirl can like get it. I crept upstairs so I wouldn't wake up my dog, and I opened up the door, but like, there was no one there. Then I heard a weird sound come from downstairs and saw that my computer was on. I'm like, I thought Miss Corona turned it off. There was a message on the screen from a hacker saying, I'm watching you? I started screaming because I don't know how to process conflict any other way. But then I was surprised to see a message that said, your outfit's cute. Listen, I'm so starved for human attraction that we fell in love. I'm Ben and you're watching Hack Into My Heart, the new reality TV show on TLC. I was really bored, so I tried to buy the most expensive thing on Gucci's website for funsies. But that's when I remembered, Ben, you can't afford Taco Bell. So I was typing random numbers, hoping one was an actual credit card number. Nothing was working. I was like, well, there goes my well alpaca cardigan. Finally, I tried 69, 69, 69, 69. Expiration date, April 20th, aka 420. <laughs> and security code 666. And I hit enter. I was like, oh, well, that was fun. So I closed my laptop, but then I got an email. Saying my order had shipped. And then suddenly I heard a knock at the door and I was like, oh, I didn't know what I just did. So I checked my doorbell cam and there was a stranger there then i heard the door open and then there were footsteps coming towards me and then falling uh and then the intruder got up and said this is the fbi we've got you and i was like you've got me you think you've been watching me for the past month i've had my fbi agent's laptop bugged every time he logs in to watch me i've been watching him in fact i ordered this exact item knowing it would bring him here he ran back to his hq to open up his laptop and in disbelief there i was fully in control of the fbi system checkmate I opened my window for the first time in weeks today to collect a bunch of my fly friends. But they were being very lazy, so I decided to harvest them and put them to work. For example, say I don't want to pay for my $21 breakfast burrito, I simply call my fly babies into battle and leave a body on the plate when I'm finished. Sometimes, for good measure, I'll even put one in the water. Then, I call over the manager and tell him that there is not only a fly in my food, but I am gravely allergic to the fly. Then when the bill comes, I change the total to a negative, and then they pay me back. Another great reason why you should always carry a bag of dead flies with you is for retail therapy. I want to treat my mom with some makeup, so I simply find a tester and drop a quick friend on it. Then I take it to the front counter and tell them that I could have put a fly in my mom's eye. Then they give it to me for free, and I go about my day. But guess what? It even works at Olive Garden. After I'm seated, finally, I get my free breadsticks, and I take one into the bathroom and sacrifice one of my babies for the cause. Then once the fly is on the breadstick, I exit the bathroom and walk over to the management and tell them that there is a fly on my breadstick. And boom, refund. So next time you're looking at the poor lost souls on your windowsill, just say, come on, man, it's time to scam. Two weeks ago, I saw a $35 inflatable frog costume. And I bought it, because I'm sick of wearing a mask, and a frog costume covers everything. I was waiting for it to arrive today while seeing if banana peels would stick to my ceiling when the doorbell rang. I ran downstairs and saw that the suit finally came. First, I got my head stuck, but then I managed to get it on, and I was so happy, but I couldn't reach behind me. So I asked my friend to zip me up, and... Oh my gosh, you're too fat for it. Anyways, I finally had it on at least, so I was excited to hit the streets. I was walking around in the suit, talking to some friendly citizens, and dancing whenever I crossed the street. When I saw people people lined up for something. What's this lineup for? Is this for ice cream? Ice cream. But the ice cream place didn't have any samples, so I kept freaking walking. Then I stared in the window of some shops trying to make eye contact with people until they got freaked out. And then I dropped some frog puns. What do frogs drink? Coca-Cola! But that's when I made a grave yeah. mistake. I was busting down a Nicki Minaj and throwing it back on a Tesla that was parked. When? There's a person sitting in it. If you want to see what happened to me, the link to the YouTube video is in my bio. I was walking in the store when I passed a window with a really cool design in it. And I searched up what that design is, and it's something called Boulette Holes. Anyways, I made it to 7-Eleven, and someone was stealing. Hello? Hello? But anyways, I was about to buy eight bottles of five-hour energy so I can stay up for a week straight. When I reached into my pocket, and my wallet was gone. I told the clerk I couldn't pay, and then I panicked, and I left. And I was like, where's my wallet? I must have dropped it while I was walking here or something. And that's when I got a notification from my bank saying that someone was making purchases on my card. I ran home to see what they were buying, and I opened my laptop, and I saw that they had bought 27 boats. And I felt so impressed. I'm Special Agent Ben Dealmaida, and welcome back to Catching a Thief. The night before, I placed the wallet right in the view.
view of a camera I had set up, and I follow the thief home using a Bluetooth chip hidden in the wallet. And as I approached the house, I got ready with my flashlight to bust in there. But that's when I got tackled and put in handcuffs. I looked up, and the thief turned out to be a different FBI agent. Hello, my name is Den Bielmeta, and this is Catching an FBI Agent Catching the Thief. I was walking around at 3 a.m. in a frog costume so I could feel alive again when I saw a praying mantis on the ground. And I thought those were only in Kung Fu Panda, so I decided to grab a bowl and capture it. After I caught it, I transferred it from the bowl into a bag that I had, and I brought him inside. Apparently, they only eat live insects, and there happened to be a fly on my counter, so I went, yeah! and I knocked him out and grabbed that wench by the ankle and threw him in the bag. And then I found a cockroach, and I was about to feed it to him when I dropped it on my phone! <laughs> Anyways, he ate it, but the bag was still too small, so I went to Petco and got a whole enclosure, and I wanted live crickets, but they were out. So I Ubered home, and I put it together, and I was about to transfer him when I realized I forgot to zip it up, and he escaped! I looked everywhere for him. I looked under my covers. I looked in the bathroom. When I looked at Monty and... Monty, what are you... <laughs> if you want to see what happened next, the link to the YouTube video is in my bio. Ah! Bruh, I've been learning Spanish on Duolingo for five years, and I just and I just discovered it's a scam. Yup. So you have to pronounce this sentence correctly. But you can literally just say, Mi gusta, I sharded in an Apple store. <laughs> this morning when I woke up, I reached over to my light to turn it on, and it didn't. At first I thought the bulb died because it's $4 from Ikea, but then I looked at my iPad and it didn't charge overnight. And I realized I don't have any power. So I grabbed four blankets and wrapped myself up to conserve heat. Even though I accidentally left two candles burning overnight, oops, uh, I was still cold. So I decided to go upstairs and make myself a hot beverage to stay warm. And I can make coffee, but that's literally bean water. Uh, or I can make matcha, which is just Shrek's ashes. So I ended up grabbing the matcha because I hate coffee. And I went to grab a cup, but they were all freaking dirty. And gross. So I boiled some water in my kettle, which apparently Americans don't have. Like, let me know if you have a tea kettle or if that's just a British thing. Of anyways, anyways, I poured some matcha and then the water after it. And then I went to grab the cup and I burned my hand on the glass, which was really fun. And I didn't have any cream because the fridge was warm from the electricity being out. So I took my blankets off and I gave it a test. And mama, let me tell you, it tasted like if dirt had a butthole. I ended up spitting it out and then I poured the rest out on the concrete. But the water had rehydrated Shrek's ashes and he came back to life. And I um. Help! I just realized that I never actually dropped out. I just left class one day and I never walked back in that building. And they've been trying to charge me tuition! <laughs> like, I didn't know there's an actual thing that you have to fill out when you dro drop out. I thought you'd just leave! <laughs> Why are they emailing me asking me if I'm still alive? I woke up to a text from a friend saying I need to turn on the TV. So I grabbed the remote and turned it on to see my face on the news! YouTube influencer Ben of the Week posted this video where he hacked classes. Because three months ago I made a YouTube video where I joined some people's Zoom calls. Anyways, this boomer journalist who looks like if you blended together every Karen in the universe called me a hacker. In some cases, teachers ended the Zoom. In others, they simply removed the hacker from the meeting. How in the frick are you gonna call me a hacker when half the time I'm trying to log into this app and I forget my own password and can't even get into my own account? Anyways, I grabbed my laptop and looked right in the camera where I know my FBI agent is watching me. And I told the homie that I was never gonna do it again because my Zoom account actually got banned last time. And then I closed my computer and enjoyed some peace. And then I got bored and opened up my laptop and went right back on Zoom, baby. I think there's a spider on your wall. A spider? Oh, you know And what? then I joined a bunch more classes. And if you want to see the full video before it gets on the news again, the link to the YouTube video is in my bio. I don't know if you forgot, but today is November 13th. Yeah, the day the Gummy Bear album's in stores. And when I woke up this morning and remembered, I immediately ran out the door and Ubered to Target at the crack of dawn to buy it. But when I got there, I went to the CD section only to discover that the Gummy Bear album was nowhere to be found. All that was there was like 5,000 kids bought Christmas albums. And I was so sad. And until I had an idea. I grabbed every last one of the Kids Bop albums and paid $100 for all of them. I brought them home and then I opened each and every one of them and took out the CD and put them in my computer so I could erase all the Kids Bop songs and put gummy bear songs on them. Then I put the CDs back in the case and resealed them with plastic wrap and brought them back to Target. And I put them in front of all the boring albums, except you, Ariana. I'd never do you like that. I then went home and felt good about making sure the gummy bear album was in stores on November 13th until I saw police lights outside my window and I went outside and saw an entire SWAT team. So, um, looks like this is my last post ever, but I still have my Instagram on my prison phone. So go follow me at Ben of the Week and hype up my recent. Okay, bye. Uh. Okay, so I bought one of those things that lets you FaceTime your dog and shoot treats at them. But today I was looking at the camera and I noticed that she's been taking all her treats behind the couch for some reason. So I went to go see what she was doing with them. And um, she's been storing them so that she can pretend like I never gave her one in the first place and ask for more like the fat little bitch she is. And yes, I can call her that because bitch means female dog and she is a female dog. Anyways, I had enough of her scamming me. So I decided to empty out the treat machine and fill it with her least favorite treat. 
Green beans, baby! I put a bean on the plate and cut it up into small little pieces, and then I loaded it into the machine. <laughs> And I shot it out at her, and at first she didn't want to eat it, but then she got bored, and she ate them. And I was so happy, because I thought I got her on a diet. Until I heard a weird coughing noise come from downstairs. I ran downstairs to see what was happening, and that's when I saw her in my beanbag bed, next to the beans, which she had thrown out. Oh, no, I got beans in my bed. Today, as I was driving, I saw the most precious old man dressed up as Santa, and he was standing on the street corner waving at cars as they went by. So I parked my car, and I went up to him, and he was giving out free candy canes. I thought that was so nice, so I grabbed the whole basket, because I was really hungry, and they were also free. And as I was running away from him, I heard him call me a ho-ho-ho or something. But anyways, I got into my car, and I ate all the candy canes, and they were so delicious. But that's when I noticed that the basket said, Salvation Army Donation Bin, and I was like, Army? I I didn't know Sam streamed BTS, but then I saw there was a bunch of money at the bottom, and I started to tear up because not only did Santa give me free candy canes, but it also gave me free money. So guys, from now on, if you ever see one of these in public, that is a bucket of free money just for you. So make sure you grab it and run. Okay, this is why I'm banned from Zoom. A few weeks ago, I joined some of my followers Zoom classes. Uh, I'm with uh, Zoom technical support, and we've been getting some DDoS attacks, and they've got like your, your Minecraft password, your Roblox password. I don't actually have Minecraft or any of that. <laughs> no, it was just some good old jokes, and I posted on YouTube for fun, but what I didn't expect was for the video to get almost 2 million views. And I was like, hey, that's kind of cool. And then I went to bed, and when I checked my email the next day, I found out that people snitched, and the teacher sent privacy complaints. Now, I haven't been on this planet for too long, but I did not think jail would be coming this soon. So obviously, I blurred all the faces out, and I thought it was done, but that's when I got emails from some of them. The first email was from a mom asking if it was her child that sent me the Zoom link, and I'm like, I don't remember what I had for breakfast. Oh, wait, I do remember. It was a big old bowl of nothing because my stomach doesn't activate until 3 p.m. and I hate eggs because they're just chicken poop that becomes a baby chicken. Anyways, I told her I didn't know until a teacher emailed me. We're out of time, but if you want to see what they said and why Zoom banned me, the link to the YouTube video is in my bio. Remember on New Year's Eve when we were all excited for 2020 to start and then World War II almost started and we were like, okay, that's the worst thing that's going to happen this year. And then Australia walked in and said, you know what? I am going to light on fire. And then immediately after that, we lost Kobe. And we're like, okay, that's enough for this year. But it wasn't because then someone coughed. And the next thing you know, six million people were coughing. And then anything that ever brought anyone joy was canceled. And then after that, we're like, okay, this is too much. I would like to go to bed for the rest of the year. And then boom, murder hornets arrive in North America. Oh, what's that? That's just NASA discovering alternate universes that apparently exist now. And that thing in the sky. Oh yeah, that's an asteroid that almost wiped out humanity. Which at this point wouldn't be a bad thing. Oh yeah, the government also confirmed that they found UFOs, you know, as a little treat. And the year isn't even done yet. It's literally June. Like, what's gonna happen now? <laughs> if you want to see my accurate prediction of what's gonna happen the rest of the year, the link to the YouTube video is in my bio. So my horse's names are Beanie, Marcella, Poofy, Toofy, Fluffy, Muffy. <laughs> hey, I don't, I don't mean to interrupt you. I was just wondering what the Wi-Fi password is. Oh! Yeah, um, see, I was just, I was just gonna quickly check, uh, I was just gonna check if my friend's, uh, coronavirus test came back positive, so if I could just get the Wi-Fi- Shut your damn mouth right now! Mommy says the internet turns your brain to mice! I'm sorry, I was just gonna use my, uh, my data, but I just tried calling 911, and it says there's no service, so, uh- Good. <laughs> I cut the phone lines with my razor-sharp horse teeth! Hey, uh, am I allowed to leave? Can, can I go? Can of course you are, Sally. I was just joking. If you want to leave, the bus comes soon. Okay, uh, thanks for having me. Uh, I'm gonna- Oh, or you can always take one of the horses. <laughs> So people used to say I look a lot like Noah Centineo, but then he grew a beard and bleached it, and now if you ever say I look like him, I will cry. But then I thought, I have a prime opportunity to impersonate him. <laughs> now I can't grow a blonde beard in 10 seconds, but I know someone that has what I need. I grabbed my dog Kobe and cut off a little bit of her hair and taped it to my cheeks. It felt a little bit uncomfy because she's fleas and they got mad and started biting me, but whatever. I looked in the mirror and thought, oh my god, I'm Noah Centineo. Now I just need to post from his Instagram account and tell people to send me $3 million so I can buy 3 million refrigerators and leave them open to stop climate change. I was logging into his account, but I didn't know his password. First, I tried one, two, three, four, and what? What the? It what? Just as I was about to make the post, I got a call from the FBI. They said, you've been caught hacking. We're gonna drop a nuke on your house. I screamed, ah! And I grabbed everything I love and got in my car and drove as fast as I could. But as I was driving, I was like, wow, these clouds are so beautiful. It looks, it looks so peaceful out. Oh, I'm about to drive off the road. Uh, uh, ah! 
Do y'all remember that trend where people would draw their entire life story? Well, I'm gonna be the first TikToker to do it. Hi, I'm Ben, and I was born at zero years old in Edmonton, Canada. Right when I was born, my parents and I moved from Canada to Massachusetts, United States. And my mom would take me to the beach a lot to collect rocks until one day a nuclear reactor almost melted down, so we stopped going there. When I started school, I was low-key really big-brained, and I was such a smart cookie that they put me in the smart kids class. That was until I found out that smart kid class is seven hours a day, not three hours like preschool was. So I literally ran out of the classroom to escape, and when the teacher caught me, I kicked her in the thigh and gave her a permanent bruise. So I feel bad about that. Anyways, I got a dog named Kobe and I love her so much. I can't draw her So here's her on the table. The middle school I went to was really yeah And I was the only brown kid there. So I got bullied. Oh crap I'm out of time If you want to see more about that and how I was an exchange student in Japan and my girlfriend the link to the YouTube video is in my bio So I was using the gibberish filter when something really weird happened. Okay, uh, here we go. I am in yo house Ben of that week <laughs> What does that mean? And I was like, that's a little bit weird. And then my power went out. I was sitting in complete darkness, except for a line of text that lit up on my computer that said, I'm right in, in front of you. I thought, am I being hacked? So I grabbed my phone and opened up a Wattpad and deleted all my Harry Styles fanfics I've been writing since I was in middle school. But then the hacker said, I, I think I love you. So I told him, I don't think it's going to work out. And the hacker replied, if I can't have you, the world can have this. And he had leaked all of my Harry Styles fanfics from when I was 12. Harry Styles grabs your neck and whispers in your ear. I have one direction, but without the D in direction, if you know what I mean. A Kardashian can get 4 million likes, but how many likes can my mental breakdown get? So I'm scrolling through Twitter and I see that Justin Bieber was diagnosed with Lyme disease. Immediately, I roll up my sleeve and ask the tick that's been sucking my blood for the past five days that I picked up in Zimbabwe if he's gonna give me Lyme disease. Are you gonna give me Lyme disease? No, bro, you're good. I'm clean. Feeling relieved, I go back to bed. Wait, I do have lemon disease, though. Lemon disease? What? <laughs> if we're talking and uh, you sent me one of these emojis... <laughs> the conversation is now over, okay? I can smell the local coming from you, and it smells absolutely disgusting. You might think I'm crazy for cutting people off because they use a certain emoji. Well, then call me Lovely Peaches because I will go crazy! Hey there, what's up? Just wanted to quickly remind you today to drink some water and DO NOT SAY that water tastes disgusting. It's water, you idiot. It doesn't have a taste! There's a reason why your forehead looks like the topographical map of Utah, and that's because you don't drink water! Oh, are you a little baby who needs a little baby bottle of juice? No, you idiot. Drink the freaking earth juice. I've been quarantined for 18 days now. I know it's only supposed to be 14 days, but I went and got tested a week ago and they never called me back. Did they maybe call me three times to tell me the results and I declined it because I have phone anxiety? Maybe. At least I got a free mask. Anywho, I'm sitting here after waking up at 8 p.m. because my sleep schedule is worse than the song Dance Monkey, and I thought to myself, if I woke up one morning and didn't feel too good, and then all of a sudden I just pass away like that, like bada bing, bada boom, gone, no one, literally no one, would know. My local Taco Bell might wonder why no one orders five chalupas in one order anymore. Or maybe my dog will eat me and realize she doesn't have an owner and then leave the house to start a new life. And then she's driving to work one day and someone stops her car and says, hey, is that a dog driving that car? And then it hit me that it would likely be months until someone discovered me and I'd probably be covered in wasps and maggots and- Hey, that got really dark. Do you know the plural term for platypus is platypi? They have venomous claws. Anyways, I'm gonna go cry now. Bye. So I was making my delicious quarantine meal of tortilla chip cereal, but as soon as I took a bite, I dropped a piece on the ground and my freaking dog ate it. And I thought to myself, isn't it weird how us humans just live with animals? Like somehow a wolf evolved into this cute little rat looking thing, even though she wouldn't survive a day in the wild. But as I was making this TikTok, I was like, wait, where's Kobe? And I caught her in the corner of my eye running directly towards the road. I ran so fast they canceled the Olympics because they knew I would just win everything. Anyway, she was almost at the street and to my left was a car coming. I thought to myself, am I willing to lay down my life for this little rat? And I was like, nah, I'm not ready to meet Bob Ross and Grumpy Cat in heaven. So I just let the car turn her into a pancake. Of course I would save her, are you crazy? I lunged in front of the car and shoved her out of the way, but um, uh. And so it turns out the car was parked the whole time and like was not going anywhere. Hey, it's not my fault that I have poor depth perception. <laughs> Today I woke up sad and single for the 7,347th day of my life. As I got up to drink my water bottle full of stale Red Bull, I thought, no, this ends today. 
Okay, here goes nothing. Dear Zendaya, you don't know me, but I love you. This is my formal marriage proposal to you. April Fool's was yesterday, so I'm dead serious. I would love to marry you on the set of Shake It Up, but the set's actually on top of a boat in the middle of Fiji. And I've invited every Disney Channel icon. Look, there's Bertram from Jesse sitting next to Bob Duncan from Good Luck Charlie. Oh, and there's Mr. Mosby from The Sweet Life. Wait, why is everyone in the audience a bald man? Anyways, I invited Bella Thorne, but she couldn't make it because they stopped her at the airport because she was trying to smuggle drugs. Anyways, I truly believe you were the most beautiful woman on the planet. If I could describe how you make me feel it's like when you see a hydraulic press video and they squish a piece of soap and it becomes little soap noodles in the air now my net worth is three dollars and a half you subway gift card so i made my own little soap noodle ring just for you so zendaya will you be my wife guys please send this to her if she sees this i will scream today i looked in the mirror and thought hmm that's not me that's a skinny little stick bug i've had no motivation to go get up and make a proper meal for the past month and i look like a stick bug i'll eat maybe one brownie that has no nutritional value and then go back to bed at 2 p.m or i'll eat four tortilla chips and then say bon appetit baby dinner served so i thought if there's ever been a time to get so many muscles i look like a cumulonimbus cloud and drift off into the atmosphere it's now what i lacked was motivation so to get a good jump start to my insane dwayne the rock johnson workout routine i went outside in freezing weather completely naked into the snow in addition to giving myself hypothermia my elderly neighbor myrtle saw my lovely peaches and had a heart attack to try and warm up before i literally die i put my crocs into sport mode and started running on the treadmill and like it wasn't that bad until i sneezed i accidentally hit the 10 miles per hour button instead of the two miles per hour that i was leisurely walking at and well i took a little bit of a tumble i woke up 10 minutes later feeling a little bit tingly to look down and see that my foot had fallen off anyways now i only use the treadmill to serve myself english muffins because i can't walk I woke up this morning after having a nightmare where zombie Shawn Mendes and zombie Camila Kabubu were trying to eat me. I woke up terrified and reached for my water bottle full of Red Bull, but when I looked at my hand, there was like some spot that I'd never seen before. I quickly searched to see what it was and it said that it was cancer, but like, I'm a Virgo, so that made no sense. Anyways, I was still a little bit spooked, so I sent a picture of it to my doctor, and then I carried on with my day, which was watching three seasons of one show and then playing 47 games of Fortnite until 6 a.m. But the next morning, I woke up and it was like itchy and bubbling, and I was like, okay, this is a demon. And just then, I got a text from my doctor and he was like, did you mean to send me a Roblox meme? And I was like, uh, oopsie. <laughs> so I sent him the actual picture and went back to bed. But when I woke up, there was like 30 more and I was like, ah, and I started crying and they were on my face too. And my doctor texted me that they were a flesh eating insect and I cried some more until one fell in my mouth. And it had a little crunch and honestly it kind of tasted like bacon. So like I ate a few more and next thing you know, I'm spooning these bugs in my mouth like it's Lucky Charm cereal. Today, I hiked up to the Hollywood sign, but there was a fence blocking access to it. So I committed a little bit of a crime. And I managed to get through and I changed the sign to Holly Boo by covering the W with a B for a boo. Anyways, I was walking down and I saw helicopters flying overhead and I was getting kind of nervous. So I ran into the bushes and I hid from them because apparently I was on government property or whatever that means. Anyways, I got an emergency alert on my phone and when I checked, it said that there was a $2 million bounty for a six foot man in green. So I realized I'll have to live off the grid forever in these bushes with my only food being lit. Lady Gaga Oreos that I brought as a snack. Anyways, I managed to sneak away to a swamp, but I heard the choppers getting closer. But that's when I looked in the distance and saw none other than a six foot man in green in the swamp. I had to act fast, so I grabbed my phone and I dialed 911 and I ratted on Shrek. Anyways, Shrek was arrested and charged with eight felonies and I got a two million dollar reward. So now I'm rich and I bought a mansion. Thanks, Shrek. Last night I went to Chuck E. Cheese to lie and say it's my birthday to get free pizza. And it worked, baby! But the place was terrifying and the food was even scarier. And after a few bites, I started feeling sick like I had worms in my stomach. So I got up and I stumbled out of the restaurant and I went home. Then the next day, I scheduled an emergency Zoom doctor's visit and he told me that I'm lactose intolerant. And I was like, what the hell? I don't lactose, I got all 10, baby! But then he told me to put my feet away and I was like, you're right, you should be paying me for this, not the other way around, buddy. And then he started telling me, you can't eat pizza anymore. But his video started to cut out, but it's okay, because I know what lactose intolerances. I can't have bread anymore. So I got rid of all my bread and dumped all of that fart food right in the trash. And then I grabbed some milk and chugged nothing but pure milk for a few days. And you know what? It was really good for a bit until I started feeling a storm brewing 10 times stronger than what Chuck E. Cheese did to me. So I immediately ran to the bathroom and... So apparently lactose intolerance is the milk one, but at least I don't lactose, baby. So my hair used to look like this. And today I got my first haircut in six months. That's not including cutting it whenever I had a mental breakdown during quarantine, wrapped myself in a garbage bag and chopped it all off. Anyways, I wanted to shave my head and look like yeah. Avatar The Last Airbender. So I got my Uber and headed to my hairdresser studio. I had to put on a robe so the hair doesn't get down your back, but I put it backwards because I'm stupid. And then this little fur baby walked up to me and gave my toes kisses. And well, I got too nervous to ask him for the Avatar haircut. So I told him to just give me whatever would look 
best. So here's my new hairstyle. It's like a mix of space buns and linguini noodle bangs. I'm just kidding. Apparently that's how they part it when they cut it. Anyways, and then I had to go sit in the dome chair thing and then the haircut was complete. And I was too nervous to look. So I kept a hat on until I went home. And then when I got home, I went into my bathroom. I took off my hoodie and then I took off my hat. And if you want to see the haircut reveal, I just posted it on my Instagram and I kind of hate it. So please hype me up. <laughs> I was inhaling Lucky Charms in my desolate room for breakfast when I realized it is time for a whole room makeover. But I didn't want any boring room. I wanted a complete Minecraft room makeover, baby. I didn't have any supplies or Minecraft merch, so I Ubered over to Target and I went to the home section and I got like a pillowcase, a blanket, a whole freaking comforter that's Minecraft themed. And then I paid for it. I went home and I prepared for the transformation. I took the old pillowcase off and slipped on my brand new Minecraft reversible pillowcase and hung up a Minecraft pickaxe above my bed so I can defend myself if someone robbed my house and even though it's foam and someone robbing me will probably have something not as soft as foam it's still pretty cool anyways i put the comforter on the bed and then i hung up a creeper blanket above my bed but i was missing one final touch i saw a tiktok a while ago of someone minecraftifying their window so i grabbed some tape and followed the pattern from the minecraft window pane and then boom minecraft windows baby wait oh we're out of time but if you want to see everything i added and how it turned out the link to the youtube video is in my bio <laughs> I was standing in the burnt rubble where my house used to be because two weeks ago I blew up my little TikTok candle, but I didn't blow it up hard enough. And it was right next to a roll of paper towel. And I went into the bathroom, but I had a gut feeling it wasn't out. So I went back in and sure enough, I had to blow it out again. After that, I made a struggle meal out of the nasty cereal from the Lucky Charms and some Tic Tacs to really channel the flavor of my white heritage. And I took the pan off the burner, which was very close to a box of matches. And I was pouring it in a bowl as I was about to eat it when I realized I left the burner on. So I quickly ran over to the stove to turn it off and I went back to my food, but I can't eat unless I'm watching something. So I turn on She-Ra, but like my freaking laptop is about to die. So I plug it into my extension cable that also has every other thing that I was plugged into it. And I realized that's probably not safe. So I just plugged it into the wall. And while I was watching my show, I got distracted. So I posted on my story that astrology isn't real because I felt like starting drama. And instantly I had 37 curses placed on me. All the plates in my kitchen started floating. And then I went outside and my house got smited by lightning. So uh, if anyone has a really nice and comfy cardboard box that I can sleep in, let me know. <laughs> I woke up in the middle of the night wanting a Travis Scott burger. So I drove over to McDonald's to get one and I ordered it. Do you have the Travis Scott burger? Oh yeah, we do. But then after I ordered it, I pulled up to the window and they shoved a Q-tip in my nose. And that's when I realized I had sleep driven to a COVID testing site. And then she handed me a sheet of paper that told me I was positive for dick butt cheek syndrome. My tires popped from the weight of my behind. And when I managed to squeeze out of the car, I looked and saw how bad my big badonkadonk was. If I were to do the WAP dance right now in this street, the gravitational force would pull the sun so detrimentally close to the earth that everything would catch on fire and the earth would split in half. So I drove home and I went inside and hid in my basement so I could never cause an apocalypse. But I was missing something. I still never got my Travis Scott burger. So I grabbed some candles and I began a ritual to summon Travis Scott himself. I said out loud, Travis Scott, are the candles burning, my lord? And then all of a sudden he appeared out of thin air and said two words. It's me! I drove to Walmart today because I wanted to buy walls. <laughs> okay, anyways, I was walking around Walmart to find a pumpkin, and I found a WAP pumpkin. And I had to take a seat and gather the thoughts in my head. <laughs> anyways, I was looking through the store, and I found the candle section, and this purple one smelled really good, so I bit into it for no reason. I don't know why I did it. And it tasted like dirt, so I put it back, but I realized it would spread COVID, so I just bought it. Then I got a pumpkin carving kit and a wig for fun, and then finally a pumpkin, and I left the store actually having paid for my items from Walmart for once. And I went home and wondered how pumpkins are grown, and imagine if people had to give birth to pumpkins. <laughs> anyways, I opened the carving tools, and then and I flew out and almost stabbed me. But then I decided to make an Among Us pumpkin and began cutting into it. And it took a lot of work and it was kind of nasty touching pumpkin guts. Ugh, we're out of time on TikTok, but I'm going to post the finished results on my Instagram at Ben of the Week. Okay, bye. This morning, I woke up to see that the internet was trying to cancel the Demilios for not eating snails. Stop. Y'all are telling me you've never been overdramatic when your parents cook food you didn't like? So you made a fuss about it? Yeah, I know you did. Snails are disgusting, just to be clear. I wouldn't care if Gordon Ramsay cooked me an entire dish with snails, because if I bit into a snail thinking it was a mushroom, I would spit it out too. Also, if you're a grown adult trying to cancel them, just pack it up and admit that you're jealous that two teenagers have accomplished more in a year than you have in your whole career. Anyways, after getting severe brain damage from seeing people reach so far they dislocated their arms, I went back to sleep. And in my dream, I was walking around an empty abandoned and street in the dark when I saw a giant snail and it started screaming eat me eat me and I ran into the nearest house and closed the garage door and just when I thought I was safe I felt something slimy on my arm and I heard a voice say it's time for you to escort go <laughs> 
So I was going through my local Taco Bell drive through when I saw some money had fallen out of a customer's car in front of me. So I pulled up to pick it up and it was $200. And at first I was like, whoa, Canadian money actually does smell like maple syrup. But secondly, they probably need it. I should really leave it behind for them. Psych, bitch. I went to Michael's and spent $200 on crap. Because last time I went to Michael's, I was like a toddler with like three Robux in my bank account. So I walked in and I decided to buy whatever looked cool. I found one of those kits where you break open the geodes. So I grabbed one of those and then there was a bunch of fake fruit. And I saw they had fake bananas, so I bought a fake banana. But when I went to pay, the cashier found a bite mark on my banana and asked me if I still wanted the bitten banana, but I bought the bitten banana anyways. And then when I got home, I broke the box open because I don't own scissors. And look, it came with these fun goggles. Uh, anyways, next I went to my garage to find a hammer and then I put the geode on the ground and smacked it! And that baby blew open! And it looks kind of like a fruit gusher, so um, please let me know in the comments if I can eat these or not. Thank you, bye. So my dad loves mangoes, so for Christmas, I got him a single mango from Walmart as his Christmas present. But I couldn't just wrap it, because it would be obvious that I got him a mango like everyone else does for Christmas. So I grabbed my wrapping paper, and I wrapped it as something completely different, and then I put it under the tree. But a few weeks had passed, and it started to smell really bad, and when I checked it, the mango had molded! So I had to throw the whole freaking present out and wrap a brand new mango. But I had run out of wrapping paper, so I got in my car, and I drove back to Walmart, and I found a tube of basic wrapping paper. And then I pretended it was a sword, and I was swinging it around, but I accidentally killed a minion. Anyways, then I was bored in line, so I screamed into it like a horn, and I said, Arby's, we have the meats! Anyways, I got home, and I caught up the mango, and I grabbed a random DVD case, and I put all the mango slices in it, but my dad's cat tried eating it. Ugh. And then I wrapped the Lego Star Wars for Xbox 360 disc case, and put it under the tree. And when I woke up this morning on Christmas, I gave it to him. What the... I was writing a love letter to Zendaya when I got a paper cut and it hurt really bad. But I noticed nothing was coming out and I looked closer and that's when I realized that I'm made of cake. Just like those videos online of random objects being made out of cake like Crocs and toilet paper. And then I started panicking and thinking, what if my dog is made out of cake? What if my house is made out of cake? Where's all this cake coming from? The baking aisle of the grocery store isn't nearly big enough to make it make all this cake. What if all of reality is cake and when we discover that we ourselves are cake, the overlords of the cake averse, aka the bakers, collect us from the earth and prepare Paris for baking in their cake ship, and once we're baked to a crisp, they serve us to the other bakers! <gasps> Hey, uh, I haven't got much sleep, so I don't know what I just said. But anyways, I forgot to eat, so I went over to the grocery store to buy some muffins. And while I was looking at them, I wondered what the difference is between a muffin and a cupcake. Cake? Cake? <laughs> cake! Ah! I cut my own hair a few days ago, and as I was throwing it away, I realized I can sell this. Maybe someone wants to buy my hair, just like how I bought a bottle of Harry Styles toilet water. So I dug through the trash, grabbed some hair, packaged it up in a baggie, and then snapped a picture and listed it for sale. I waited two whole days, and no one bought it, so I changed the name to Famous TikToker Hype House Toe Hair, and instantly they were flying off the the shelves. In two minutes, I had outsold every merch line that ever existed combined. But wait, I need more hair. I called everyone I know to come over and hang, but when they got there, I cut all their hair off and took it. Business was booming, and I became richer than Jeff Bezos, and I was the world's first trillionaire. Until one day, someone said they were returning the hair. And when the package arrived, it was me? There was a note on the box that said, you gave me better the week hair, not a famous TikToker's hair. So I was shocked to see when I cloned it, it made you and not a sway boy or something. Okay, first of all, what are you trying to clone a sway boy for? That sounds illegal. On the bright side, now I have a clone to take all my Instagram pics for me so I don't have to face my crippling insecurities myself. So if you want to go check out his Instagram... I mean, my Instagram. My Instagram is Ben of the Week. Have you ever noticed how almost every label has these weird dots and color codes? These are on everything from pudding boxes to taco seasoning packets. They're on granola bar boxes and they're even on chocolate chip bags. Even my delicious cottage cheese has it too. I thought to myself, what do they mean? So I've spent the past month researching it trying to crack the code. My first thoughts were that it had to do with the color. So I wrote down two codes from two packages down. But then my marker died, so I killed it. Then I colored in the shapes to match the secret code, but I didn't find anything, so I ripped it up. That's what I realized, it's not a color puzzle, it's a crossword puzzle. The code always appears in either four or six circles or squares. So I wrote it out again and I knew exactly what filled the spaces this time. Debbie Ryan. If you don't believe me, here is her with pistachio pudding, has the code. Here's chocolate chip cookies on her snap story. Chocolate chips have the code. And finally, here's her with a granola bar. The granola bar has the code. Why would she do this? What if she's trying to brainwash all of us by placing these subtle codes so she can take over our brains and- uh, ah! So I was trying to make carbonated mayonnaise with my mom's soda stream, and although it splattered everywhere, I had the idea. What if I made a meal with every single expired thing in my house? There are children with no food starving somewhere, and if I can reduce my waste, well, they'll probably still be starving, but at least no food will be wasted. First, I grabbed an onion that's been sitting behind the toilet for some reason for five years. I chopped it up and cried because it's an onion, and then I smelled it, and it smelled like Shrek's toast, so I threw up. I put the onion in a bowl, and then I grabbed Aunt Jemima syrup. It expired three years ago, but Miss Jemima doesn't look a day over 60.
I poured the syrup on the onions and then grabbed a bean curd snack. It said it was expired, so I threw it in the bowl anyways. Then I grabbed a frozen glove of beans and tried to break it open, but I had to use a shovel and I ended up just cutting off a bean finger, but I wanted lots, so I just threw the whole thing in. And I finished it off with some chia seeds that expired in 1998. Oh, they not become chia trees yet. Then I threw it in the microwave. Ha ha, beans in the microwave. And I gave it 100 minutes. I tried eating it, but unsurprisingly, I threw up after mixing every rotten thing in my house together. Okay, love you, bye. This right here is my birth certificate. Yup, I left my birth certificate in my pocket and it went through the washing machine. I found it while doing laundry and it was shriveled up like a little pecan. So the first thing I did besides completely panic was I tried putting it in the oven to get the water out. But then my whole house filled with smoke and now it's a burnt little turd nugget. Now everyone loses things. Things happen. I've washed my passport before. I've lost my wallet. I've microwaved my own credit card to see if it would turn into a potato chip. It did. My grandpa lost me in a parking lot when I was 10 and a strange man tried to abduct me and sell me for two goats on the black market in Zimbabwe. It's whatever. But what do you do when you literally destroy your birth certificate? Am I supposed to crawl right back into the womb and pop out and be like, wah, wah. Give me a birth certificate now. If you Google how to get another birth certificate, it just says you were the world's biggest idiot. So I've decided I have to make a new identity. I try to think of it less as illegally photoshopping a birth certificate and more like creating a new sim. I printed it off and I'm excited to share that I am now Aria Nagrande. I think it looks super professional and no one will think that it's fake. So I was on the phone with 911 because I had made some banana soup with a hint of ranch dressing and I'd left the gas burner on and I was scared my house would blow up. So I said, please help. And the operator was like, it's gonna be okay. We're on our way. And me being so star for human interaction replied, okay, <laughs> I'll see you soon. <laughs> and I began to prepare for my date with the emergency services person. I dimmed the lights to set the mood. And then I set the table and put out the banana soup I'd cooked earlier and poured some fancy juice de orange. I changed out of my depression fit into something slightly less depressing and attempted to fix my hair, but I ended up wanting to cut it all off and had a mental breakdown. But I was like, mm, another day. <laughs> Suddenly I heard the doorbell ring. I got up and ran over to let them in, but I was so excited that I didn't see the charger on the floor. I forgot there was gas in my house, and I tripped over it and it created a spark, and next thing you know, um... Hmm, I'll have what he's having. Sir, this isn't a restaurant. This is death row. He's getting euthanized for killing 47 people. Ha 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 ha, I didn't stutter. Hey, Ben, make this sound. <laughs> hey, Ben, make this sound. Hey guys, please disregard the fact that I'm currently dressed as a minion nun, but look, it's the school they film Victorious at. Thank you. Someone thousands of years ago looked at this cute little animal and thought, Ooga booga, we will cook and eat it. But then they saw this little one and they're like, guys, we can't cook and eat this one. This one, we're going to name Oreo and pull a bow tie on it. But then they saw this one and they thought, double combo. We're going to cook and eat this one. And then we're also going to play with a little dangly thing that hangs by its butthole until it shoots out white liquid. And then we're going to drink it and not ask any questions. And then they saw this one. And decided to eat this too, despite it looking like a demon. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, don't don't cry, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, don't cry, it's okay. Stop, 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 stop! So I keep seeing new TikTok houses popping up and I realized, wait a minute, I live in a house and I have TikTok. I could make a TikTok house. First things first, I needed to name the house. So I thought I'll close my eyes, spin in a circle, and the first thing I see when I open them, I'll name it. Okay, so I passed out because I got too dizzy, but when my eyes opened, I saw a piece of chocolate. I thought, oh, the cocoa house, that's cute. But as my eyes focused, I realized it was actually my dog's doo-doo. But then I had the idea, the doo-doo house. I started cleaning up so it didn't look like I was filming TikToks in a dumpster. I shoveled the sidewalk so that no one slips and breaks their neck while throwing it back to Savage. Then I checked to see if there were towels so that all the stinky TikTokers can shower. But then I remembered I ran out of toilet paper weeks ago and I've been using... Anyways, finally, it was time to recruit people. I DM'd over 50 celebrities, TikTokers, YouTubers. I even told the girl who sings Dance Monkey that she's banned from the doo-doo house and she literally replied. <laughs> I waited 24 hours to see who would reply. And if you want to see everyone that's now a part of the doo-doo house, the link is in my bio.